Um, so, okay, that's the Lexington uh, Public Health Hospital where they used to send addicts uh, in 1935. Uh, that's Frank, go ahead. That's Frank and Doris Carnahan's house. That's where the planning of NA with Traditions with Jimmy K was in that house on Stag Street in Los Angeles. That's that uh, doctor, the first uh, person we know of that got clean on the 12 steps in 1939 in that hospital, Dr. Tom. Uh, that's that first meeting, um, the sign-in sheet, the October 5th, 1953. And uh, there's um, nobody there is alive anymore, that's for sure. And that's where it was. You can still go see this building. It's still there. It's, a, it's in a Latino church now. Um, and so I've been in there many times. Uh, it's really cool to go there. It doesn't look quite like that anymore, but uh, you can go there. You can go over to the um, Jimmy K's house, the World Service Office. All that's really close. You can see all in one day if you ever get out to Los Angeles area. This is really important for UK because this is the letter from Jimmy K to Johnny Horton. Uh, they just called Crowbar Johnny. I don't know if you ever heard him, but uh, uh, he was, hang on a second. Uh, he was uh, considered the first NA member uh, in UK. And that's a letter from Jimmy K about a starter kit to get NA going in UK. And so that's a really great uh, P, uh, document there. Okay, next. Oh, and that's, that's, uh, we do recover in Jimmy's handwriting. You know, like I say, he was an avid uh, writer and uh, very articulate. You know, you can see he's always like correcting things and, you know, he's always thinking about how to make this better. Next. And that's the original, what they call preamble or we call format now. Uh, you might have seen this, you know, the first meeting was Monday night, 8.30 p.m. By the way, that first meeting collected about $11. Uh, which would be about $90 in today's money. Um, you know, we're always looking for support from the groups, you know, and we often don't get it, but it's amazing that they collected that much money in that first meeting back then with so few members. So that's pretty, pretty impressive. Next. Oh, there, and Bo knows this. This is uh, Steve Bice and a few other people there. Um, that's the motion that approved the uh, basic text in Miami, I think it was May of, uh, I believe it was 82. Um, and it's, uh, I can't read it quite right now. Let's see, uh, something along the line, uh, motion, let's see. Basic text approval form to prove his first Narcotics Anonymous book. Um, so that's, that was that, it was on chalkboard. In those days, there was no computer, but that was the actual uh, motion that was unanimously approved at the, at the literature conference. Uh, this is the first world convention. Uh, let's see, that's Russ, Ed, uh, Jack Whaley. Uh, let's see here. There's Bob, there's Mel, there's Bill Beck, there's Russ Counts. Uh, that was in November of 71 at the La Mirada Country Club. Um, Mel, Mel, uh, Mel H and uh, Norm, who's here today, were very involved in, in uh, that first world convention. And there's uh, George, and I forget the other guy's name. Bo knows this picture. This is how the basic text was put together. Um, there was no <laughs> email. I mean, it was, it's amazing, you know, it's uh, what it ran. I mean, the initial, you know, 79 when the idea started gelling and then of course approved in 82 and published in 83. So amazing, amazing. The first full length book ever written by and for addicts in the history of mankind, the basic text. Next. That's the original group symbol. And uh, all these uh, colors uh, mean things, you know, strength and courage, friendship, unity, love. Um, the little dot in the A that Jimmy made, um, he said that that was the eye of God, the little dot in the A. And so that's, that's, that's one of our official things there. That's the group symbol. Next. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this was in the Amazon in Brazil. And uh, we were doing a little public relations with the uh, narco uh, policia in Brazil. And I was giving them pamphlets there um, in uh, the Amazon in Brazil where there's meetings. 
And that was the official um, uh, designation of NA in Afghanistan to be recognized as a viable program of recovery. Because there's countries where NA is still illegal. There's countries where women can't go to meetings still. So this allowed you know, NA to have meetings and be recognized in Afghanistan by the government. This was in Bhutan. And actually, I, I sponsored the two guys on the right there. That's Yeshe and uh, Quinson. And there's NA there too. But the government won't let them have uh, conventions or anything. Uh, this is old. Actually, there's a lot more meetings than that. It's about, well, there was 77,000 face-to-face meetings. I don't know what it is now because I'm sure some of them probably aren't going to happen after we get through this, uh, this darn pandemic. Next. And yeah, uh, that's, we have meetings in at least 89 languages. That was in, uh, that was in Zanzibar, East Africa. There's a lot of stories I could tell you about that trip. Cause when we went there, they had never, you know, met clean addicts or seen a key tag or anything. And that was probably eight or nine years ago, but that, that was really, really amazing to go there and help them. Next. Oh, this was in the Amazon. That's an indigenous member, the guy on the right. And this is Altan, and he's one of the members that went down the Amazon and stopped in villages and started meetings uh, throughout um, uh, that region of, of NA. Uh, NA Brazil is the third largest NA in the world. Uh, they're really, really, uh, it's really, really big and they're very, very active and uh, very strong, very strong in service and everything they do down there. Next. This was at the East LA Convention in 2010. This is the last time that we had pretty much all the early, early members, you know, like from the 60s and, and a few 70s uh, together in one photo. There's a few people not there, like Sylvia Magdaleno, uh, but those are all clean dates, you know, 63, 61, 62, um, stuff like that. And quite a few of those people have passed away unfortunately. Matter of fact, the whole first row has passed away except for our beloved Norm who's here today uh, on the far left with the uh, cool shades on there, the gradient shades. That's Johnny Horton who pretty much is considered to be the key significant earliest uh, NA member in the UK. Oh, this is a really important picture. So this was the five oldest members of NA. And this was at Sylvia's 50 year party. Now, Bob on the left died with 53 and there's Gene, he died with 53. Sylvia died with 52. Steve died with 53 and Ed back there with 54. And this was a Sylvia's 50 year party. Now here's something amazing. So this 50 year coin actually belonged to all five of them because Bob got it and then he gave it to Gene, Gene gave it to Sylvia, Sylvia gave it to Steve, Steve gave it to Ed and Ed's widow gave it to me. They've all passed away. So this was that, that uh, 50 year coin that is probably my most precious possession. That's a L, that's a 50 for you know Roman numeral. And so that's probably one of my favorite, favorite pictures. The guy in the back is actually me, uh, that's me. Um, so that was great. And there's Sally. Uh, Sally was also a very good friend. By the way, I mean, you know, it's amazing. I was, I become friends with all these, you know, people and, and uh, I've seen them all pass away, you know, in their 80s with, you know, 50 years clean, 52 years clean. It's been sad, you know, but they gave me so much. And I was so fortunate to um, get to know them. Sally was also very significant in the, um, uh, development of the basic text. Uh, she got clean in 1969. She's passed away. She was one of our early, early females. And I've got many stories about her. She, she's, she was just fantastic. Oh, that's Penny. That's Penny Kennedy, the nurse. She was one of our early members. She wrote, I can't do any more time, meaning um, not clean time, but prison time. <laughs> I can't do any more time. I need NA. And she was very, very helpful to Jimmy K in the early days too. That, that was in the um, uh, meeting place that uh, that story, I, I found the only NA meeting in the world 
that Bob wrote, that was about a meeting um, at Rhodes and Moore Park Street in Studio City, California. And that was the first really stable meeting that started in 59 and at the Unitarian Church. And uh, that, that was in the back room of that meeting place. I've been in that building too. There's Ed, he was our first public relations uh, chairperson in 69, uh, real cantankerous guy, uh, spent some time in Alcatraz and all kinds of stuff. He was, he was amazing. That's James, he has about, let's see, he's 67. So yeah, he's like 53 years clean now too. And that's where NA Canada started. Uh, there was an NA in Australia in the 50s that died out, but then the next NA outside of America was Canada in 67 because of James. And it started in that actual room in that house. And the amazing thing is, is that NA Canada started by James um, when he was about three or four months clean and it never stopped. So NA Canada is our oldest nonstop NA outside of America that exists today. Next. Oh, that's part of my display. Uh, it's 22 kilos. I've lugged it all over the world. Um, and that's just part of it. It's pretty big. This is a neat picture. There's uh, Gene and Norm and Ed. And on the far right is um, Roy. Now Roy is, uh, yeah, he's, he's 51 years clean now. But as far as we know, he's the first Asian member we ever had. Uh, he was uh, American Asian living in Los Angeles and Japanese, and uh, he's uh, been around a long time. He's still alive. Next. This is a great picture. This was, um, there's Ed, who died with 53, and there's uh, Richard Magdaleno, who's still alive, and I think he's about 54 years clean now, and it's Steve died with 53, and Gene died with 53. Um, Richard Magdaleno had Sylvia was his older sister. She was the first NA member. And then he had three brothers. So there was five siblings that all ended up in NA. And so that's pretty amazing. Uh, now they've all passed except for Richard, if I, if I remember correctly. So he's down in the San Francisco area. Next. Oh, okay. Now the guy in the blue shirt, the tall guy, that's Jim Nichols. Jim passed away too. And he was the one that, that, Got, got members together to raise money for postage just to send out the draft of the, um, of the basic text. And they raised money by donating blood. And that was his idea um, by doing that. And, and Jim uh, was out there in Kansas and Nebraska. And there's a very old NA in Kansas and Nebraska because of him. So, um, and then uh, Ed is on the far left and then Gene, Norm, and, and me. That was down in New Orleans, Missis, down there in Louisiana. We did a history thing there one time. Next. Oh, this is um, at uh, Kathy's house, uh, Jimmy K's daughter, Kathy, who's about 11 or 12 years clean now. She looks a lot like her father. And that's Jean. And that was in, in her house there. She lives pretty close to me here. And uh, so that's a great picture because Jean knew her when, when they were little, little kids, when she was a little kid. There's Jean and Ed. That's a great picture. They've known each other since they were newcomers. They've known each other since they're in their 20s. They both died in their 80s with you know, well over 50 years clean each. Next. Oh, that's a Jean's grave. I'm, I'm putting the uh, eternity coin there. Um, um, yeah, that's sad to see that. We are not giving up. We are sitting here for the ones coming after us. We are sitting here for the addicts not born yet. We must keep these doors open. Jimmy K, born April 5th, 1911, Paisley, Scotland. Got clean February 2nd, 1950 and died July 9th, 1985. That's me in front of his, uh, where he was born in the apartment building over on West Street in Paisley. That's a nice collage of uh, Jimmy and the group symbol. And that's Agnes, that was his first wife. Many people know Betty, his second wife, um, who was the recovering and a member who wrote the fearful mother story in the basic text. But Agnes uh, was who he met in Philadelphia when he immigrated from Scotland. 
and married and they had the five kids. She was not an addict, but she's very important because she really kept, kept the, the family and the kids and even Jimmy together when he was using. And then when he started doing NA and he was gone all the time. Um, so that's really important uh, picture to know who Agnes, uh, Agnes was.